Hello, everybody, and welcome back. I am Karex, and we are continuing on this beginner playthrough and tutorial for Crusader Kings 3. We are playing as the second, actually, we're technically the third generation Count of Provence. We are hopefully going to become the Duke of Provence. A lot of things are going on with the map right now. You can see that Burgundy has sort of exploded out of Italy, which is interesting, considering I don't know how they could have formed the Burgundian Kingdom, considering they have very little of actual Burgundy under their their grasp um if we zoom out we are still part of the italian kingdom but it, italy is very weak and we could become independent from italy but we haven't even become independent from our du duke of provence the guy that's ahead of us so we have like multiple steps of the ladder that we need to go up once we do that then we can either join france and work within that bubble or we could join burgundy and work within that bubble or we could just stay independent and just bash these guys like mono -y mono which would be very difficult because I'm assuming Burgundy is relatively strong. France is, of course, incredibly strong. But to get into the French bubble could be really, really good because then we could start operating against Toulouse or Barcelona or Gasconay, and we could start actually going for our culture land, the Aquitaine land, and we could start going for that, which would be interesting. So lots of stuff that we need to do here, and I would say that for the most part right now, we need to cut, bring it down to speed three because things were moving kind of fast there. Events are hitting us, boom, boom, boom. No shortage of decisions and things to think about and talk about. Um, we need to slow it down a little bit. I apologize, guys. Last episode was a little go, go, go. Uh, things were just flying at us. Um, but I think the first four to five episodes were good, slow, and methodical in terms of building a foundation of understanding. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to add the context behind the decisions so that People can make their own decisions. We're not telling you which decisions are best. We're telling you how to determine what decision you want to make in a certain situation. Um, but in this case, it is kind of devolving into a little bit more of just a playthrough, heavily commentated playthrough and stuff like that. We have an issue here. It says we can declare war on the King of Burgundy. That's that's because we have a claim on Savoy here. We got that claim last time on Savoy. What I'd like to do, let's let's let it run for just a scooch here. What I want to do is I want to use the meritocracy claim. You can use claim throne. It's a scheme. It's a scheme. I'm a doofus. I am such a doofus. It's a scheme. I actually thought this was... So the fact that we didn't have to kill the other guy... We're going to scheme against this guy for Claim Throne. I don't know exactly what that's going to do, but hopefully... I didn't realize we didn't have to murder the other guy. We could have just schemed for the Claim Throne. We thought it was a CB. It's not a CB. It's a scheme. That's interesting. That's interesting. So right now we're building just a huge amount of income, which is fantastic because then we can go in and build men-at-arms. Men-at-arms are... Uh, units, uh, standing army units, right? These guys are just dudes with sticks. I mean, we've got a thousand dudes with sticks here, 878 right now. These guys are relatively insignificant um, in, in terms of their actual ability to fight battles. I mean, early in the game, they're as good as we got, right? Early in the game. But these here, when it says go to create men-at-arms, we can have two men-at-arms units, and each unit can be upgraded up to level 5. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 men. Um, and in this case... Uh, we could see benefits. They have uh, certain advantages in different terrain types, like the horse uh, units. Uh, our horsemen units are very good in flatlands, but very uh, negative in, in wetlands or mountains and things like that. But um, essentially, these guys cost money uh, when raised and when not raised. Now, the light uh, footmen are actually relatively cheap. Uh, unraised, they're only going to cost us a point. 75 per month right five times 0 0.15 if we were to level them up to level five which would cost us 250 gold in total to do that but man getting these guys is, is incredibly powerful incredibly powerful in terms of being able to win battles and win wars and stuff like that and our economy is amazing it's absolutely amazing um, so we're definitely gonna want to think about that because these are trained soldiers what these are this is a standing army of trained soldiers whereas these guys here are essentially uh, just dudes with farmers with sticks, right? We already have a really high chance on this. Yeah, I don't think we're going to worry about doing anything because we already have a 90% chance to succeed on the on this, the claimed throne. What we could do is we could go in and, and see if there's any agents that want to join. 
Like some of these people down here could be convinced, but I don't want to pay them 68. Um, I don't want to pay them that much. Do we have hooks on anybody? Because remember, we do have a new thing. We have hooks on this guy. Can we demand payment? He doesn't have enough gold. He doesn't have any gold, in fact. And then we're also going to be getting another daughter. She's not a genius. She's only intelligent, but still a second daughter. You know, we'll take as many daughters as we can get. Those are alliances and different diplomatic actions that we can take with that, which is quite nice. We are going to, of course, want a son. In the meantime, our daughter will take over. So our, our technically our, our thing is protected. Holy cow, we've been excommunicated. This is a crime to Duke. Your liege? We have been excommunicated. Man, having the Pope as a rival is such a bummer. I wonder if that goes away if this guy dies. What, what would it be like to murder the Pope? I have very low likelihood. Because it'd be probably because he is the head of faith, right? He has all these protections. He's got an entourage protecting him from, from being, being taken out like that. Man, I gotta say, that is such a bummer. That is such a bummer. We are I've never been excommunicated before. We get a significant reduction in the amount of piety that we can do. We could actually pay to go on a pilgrimage. It's like, how does that... The Catholic opinion, minus 20. That is insane. Most people seem to like us still. Everybody seems to like us still. Let's try to counterbalance that by going on a big pilgrimage. Oh, we have an empty council position. Our steward uh, is gone. Okay, so we need to go marry someone off. We need to go... Whoop, lots of things happening. Pause the game. Pause the game. Okay, that guy likes us for whatever reason. Okay, we need to go in. We need to go fishing for someone that's going to be a good steward. So let's go find someone in our court that needs to be married off. We need an unmarried female. She's only 13. It's too young. She's 11. Still too young. Um, hmm. I wish we could make our wife the steward. Yep, unfortunately, looks like the best we're going to get here is, is this dude here. Until we can until we can get some of these people to age up, people in our court to age up. Time to go on pilgrimage to Jerusalem. To Jer Jerusalem or nothing. As I prepare for my journey, I know that I will travel safely under the protection of God. My destination lies far from home, but in service of heaven, even my own realm must wait. So hopefully this will counterbalance the fact that we've been excommunicated. Maybe we should have done this, like, before. Oh, man. This is a crime to the Duke. Your liege. Ah, oh, man. I'm really worried about that. That's going to make it so much harder. Our health is really good. So while we're on pilgrimage, we've gotten sick. Do no more than is necessary. We have a pretty good... A little bright, a little brighter. Okay, excellent work. We've got reduced disease symptoms for one year, so hopefully we'll be feeling relatively healthy uh, for the next year, so that we'll be able to get through this illness. It's not good to be traveling, be sick while traveling. No, this is not good. We don't want to get lost because that's going to be a health penalty. We're just going to be wandering the wilderness. No. Nope, we need to uh, we need to pay to make sure we don't get lost here. But this pilgrimage is becoming quite expensive. This is taking years. Okay, the tears of Saint Nicholas. Even when on pilgrimage, the the priests still hold mass every Sunday. It is held out in the open when no church is nearby. But early in this morning, a storm rolled in. And is not seated. Undeterred, a zealous priest is standing out in the pouring rain, giving a sermon about the pre uh, perseverance 
in the face of adversity. Despite this, the size of his audience is rapidly dwindling as discouraged adherents seek refugee from the torrential rain. Man. 23% traveling while ill poses greater health risk. That's, ah, oh man, we're ill already. I'm really scared to stand out in the rain here. But man, that would give us 250. Let's risk it. Let's risk it. Let's stay out in the rain. But there's a good chance that could seriously backfire on us. We're already sick. And we're uh, we're in the torrential rain there. Nothing bad immediately happened. It might come back in the next event here. Hey, we've arrived. We've arrived. Gained that. We've gained a level of devotion. Hopefully people will start to respect us a little bit more. We got a lot of piety over here. What can we do with this piety, bro? Make a declaration of, of repentance. <laughs> Oh no, the, the chance to sway this guy is a zilch, basically. There's no way. He's a rifle. He's a rifle. But if he when he dies, which, man, he could live... Man, he's got all this crazy... He's a medicine focus. This guy's not going to die until he's 95. This guy's not going to die until he's 95. We can't even give him money. We can't even give the guy money. But hopefully our, our people... Under arrest for crimes against the crown? Nope. So we're at war against this guy. Just kind of a bummer. The strange thing is, so he just tried to arrest us because we were excommunicated. It's like, dude, do you even have like enough men to repel us? I, I'm confused by this a little bit, to be honest. Yeah, dude, I don't, I don't even know if you have enough dudes to even siege. I don't think we need to buy support. Well, he bought mercenaries. The jerk bought mercenaries. says that our levies should be a lot higher than they actually are. My old self. We're no longer sick. We have a 22 marshal compared to his marshal, which is a 16, but he does have those uh, different mercenary groups. The cheapest mercenary group that we could get would be... 124 gold. This is a little bit of a tricky proposition here, to be honest. We could just sort of race them down. Siege race them here. Seven months there. Two hundred and fifty progress. Seven months. Six months. Yeah, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Um, I don't think we can go into debt here. Can we? Yes, we can. Although, uh, man, I don't know if that's even going to be a good thing. We have to. Even if we're in debt, our, our troops will fight poorly in debt, but we have to, we have to be able to win this. Go. I think if we win this war, I, I could be mistaken, but I think he'll have to uh, he'll have to pay us a bit. He's going to be deposed. Holy cow, that could be interesting. That's actually not good because we're trying to scheme against the throne. I think we just want to white piece him. What does what does depose mean? The heirs will inherit the towels even through the old. Old rulers alive. No, we don't actually want to do that. I 
I think we want to white piece the guy. I think, uh, I don't know. I don't know. This is actually interesting. Who is his actual heir? The sibling. It has a better intrigue stat. Man, this was all going so well. We got excommunicated. Throw the guy in jail because I think what we could do is we could start ransoming some of these people here. Except for he won't be ransomed for whatever reason. So we have another lifestyle perk. We can get more money while at war. Um, vassal contribution can go up. Hmm. Hmm. 10% more income while at war. A little bit of a tricky situation here, I gotta say. <laughs> These neutral guys are sieging down this bit here. That's that's a bummer. Nice. Reduce some stress there. We do need to get our stress down, like stat. Our character is pretty stressed out over here. Man, the fact that we had to buy those mercenaries is a little bit of a bummer, but at least we... Um, being in debt makes it so that our troops are less likely... Like, they don't fight as well because they know they're not getting paid. They know that we can't pay them. Um, so that ends up being a bad thing. Luckily, we are at least um, making um, a good income here. So that we won't be in debt in six months. This is going to be over in three months. That's going to be over in seven months. We have time to siege them out, win the war, come down here, beat this guy up. I guess we might just oppose the guy. But the fact that we're like, it's it's taking longer and longer to get out of this situation is, is becoming kind of a problem. Um, also, the fact that we've lost this province is not great. So we're going to have to go and desiege that. The fact that we're at war, but we're still making this much money is fantastic. Because, of course, it does cost to have our troops raised up. But the mercenaries, we've already paid for them, but our regular levies are, are costing us some money. This is why if we had some men-at-arms, we wouldn't have to buy those mercenaries. We'd just use the men-at-arms. So we just, yeah, it really would have been much more economical to uh, to do that. Oh, she's rowdy. So if we can give her, like, a spycraft education or something, that could be good. Do we have any other geniuses, like, in our... What the heck? Let's just let's just educate our daughter because why the heck not? Our wife is pregnant again. We do want to make sure that we at least can educate a son if we ever pop out a son. But our firstborn daughter will educate her. Can we ransom any of these prisoners? Captured a good amount of peeps. Can't afford that guy. We're just going to fight these guys because I think it benefits us. Oh, nice. Our bishop did a good job there at, at getting some stuff. So We're just going to capture who we can, attack who we can, kill who we can. You know, we didn't really make that much... This is this scheme is, for some reason, it's taking absolutely forever. So I think we're just going to depose this guy. Um, but what would be ideal... Yeah, we have a new liege now. So I don't even know if this even counts anymore. I think that scheme is invalidated. We have all these prisoners here, but I don't know she doesn't have that much money. She doesn't have that much money. If she's willing to pay for 19 to get that guy out, might as well. We'll keep the rest of the people in jail until they earn some more money. Provence gets some, some extra benefits. 10% more income from the holdings. Construction cost minus 5%. That could save us money over time. If that if it's for 30 years. 
holding tax plus 20% instead. Let's just turn a quick profit, I think. Let's try to defend our lands super quick here. Maybe get some more people captured, which we can turn into money. So we are on the council here. We do need to make sure that we're scheming uh, for the claim throne. Let's go in and find an agent to help us with this, potentially. We already have a bunch of agents helping us. Hmm. 50 gold for that? I don't think that's worth 50 gold. I think we'll just take the 90% odds. Oh, we did lose. We lost this. A commoner of Anglo-Saxon heritage has been accosted in the streets of Toulon uh, over some minor offenses. There's only a 40... I, th I think we try to get our wife to be a little bit happier. Well, our wife already likes us. No, let's just take the prestige. It's fine. Um, unfortunately, we did uh, get bopped here and lost that battle. But I think if we come back... Ooh, we're really retreating quite far away. I did not want to do this. Yeah, a lot of our... Presumably a lot of our knights have even died, potentially. Can we invite more? Not yet. We can pet snow, though, so let's do that. Pet our cat. Thank you, my friend. Probably going to hunt, too. Robert, our first son, he's a genius. Booyah. May you grow to be strong and wise, my son. Let's make sure we're educating this guy directly. So just right-click, educate our kid. Now, he, we actually don't know what kind of education he's going to have until he becomes three years old. And at six years old, we can customize that, but... I'm a little bit worried about whatever's going on here. I'd like this war to end. Oh, the heck? Well, this guy's actually... Wait a second, he's actually trying to take this land. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, we need to we need to win this war. They actually want to take this. We need to win this war. Good that he's desieging this here. So we got we got 300 troops. I don't know why these troops here aren't like part I don't know why this isn't considering us actually part of the war cuz we don't obviously want to give up our own land. They're attacking for our land. We should absolutely be a part of this war here. He's only got seven. Yeah, he doesn't have that many troops. I think I think we could do this. We can do this, but come on, come on, come on. Let's go. March, march, march. Okay, we're gonna cut these guys off here. Those guys are gonna move into there and fight. We're going to fight him here. These guys are going to get stuck there. We can go back and reinforce after that battle's over. If they win up here, that's going to be incredible. Don't know if that's going to happen exactly. If those guys reinforce in, that could be really good. Yeah, we do not want to lose this battle here. Okay, we didn't. Good. Six months, I think that war is going to conclude, actually. I think this is going to flip. The script is going to be flipped. It's going to be two years in order to have this, uh, to, to have the claim thrown here. Once we can get our, well, once we can at least become a duke, we could potentially get our independence from Italy and, and move out of here. A lot of stuff that we have to do right now. Big uphill battle. Excommunicated is making everything more difficult. Um, the Pope doesn't like us. I can't believe we're rivaled to the Pope. But at least we do have the Pilgrim, which is kind of maybe counterbalancing uh, the sort of the Pope's excommunication of us a little bit. I don't know. Those guys are fighting, presumably. Uh, oh, these guys are winning. Yeah. So that'll be good. We have another stewardship lifestyle thing. 
We're not actually building up dread, so men at arm maintenance. We don't have any men at arms at the moment either. I'm actually not convinced a lot of this is actually going to be that beneficial for us. I mean, two, two stewardship of 50, this is a good final perk, but I mean, vassal contribution, 10%. It's I, I don't think the vassals are contributing anything. We can look and see what that is. Vassals are contributing 0.4 per month. Think about that. 10% of 0 0.4 is like 0 0.04. <laughs> so let's actually go over here and actually... Uh, Go to Architect, I think, would be quite good. Also, there's some good stuff in here, potentially. Vassals are less likely to join independent factions. A monthly tyranny goes down. Larger levies. Yeah, administrator, this could actually be a better thing, to be honest. In terms of keeping people happy and stuff. But I think Architect is quite good if we're going to try to build up a lot of buildings. A defense measure. Actually, having the extra fort level could be kind of nice. Levy reinforcement rate, 100%. That could be good. Development, yes. Development growth within the realm capital. That's fantastic. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go down this way. Because right now we should be working on development in our capital up to about 20 development. Should be our target here. As soon as this is over, the war should be over. 60 days. 60 days. Yeah, we have low control here, unfortunately. Um, so once we take that over, we're going to need to get this guy to uh, to bolster it. Once we take it back over. I'm going to have our Spymaster actually working on um, supporting our aggressive schemes. I just want to make sure there's nothing that goes wrong. Um, so we're, we're coming down here. We haven't had to do this before. The Marshal is going to increase control. Actually, we did do that over here when we took that land, right? But he's going to increase control here. So this number can go from 60 to 100 sooner uh, than, than, than not. So... Now, we're not technically actually in the war here. Um, and it looks like our dudes are winning, so I'm going to disband. I'm going to disband our guys here. Except for we're a little too close to the action, so we need to move our guys away. Now I can disband. So let's just get rid of these guys. Let the levies come back. Let things regenerate a little bit. That mercenary group ended up being pretty important. Um, we still have good knights, it seems. We could add this guy, but 20 gold, I don't know if that's worth it. I'd rather probably actually start getting some men-at-arms. Do we want bowmen or do we want light infantry? Light infantry are the cheapest. They're still good. There's nothing wrong with them. Let's get them up to level 3. I think then what we'll do is we'll get in a group of bowmen and have those guys working together. So 72% war scores ticking up. We have actually we've captured an important character, which is nice. So hopefully... Um, Hopefully, if these guys can win some battles and stuff like that, the war can be over soon. We're about one year. We're nine months away from, from seeing if we can succeed on the scheme to um, claim the throne of of the, the Duchy of Provence, right? The Duchy of Provence. We are certainly the rightful person for that. And I can't believe Burgundy exists. Like, how could you form... How could this person form the kingdom of Burgundy when they own only Savoy? Like, they don't own enough Burgundy for for them to do that, but somehow they're, they they did it. They don't own any of this up here. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that, to be honest. And then somehow they got all of this? I have no clue. Preaching unorthodox doctrine. Why are you doing that? Our bishop is doing some weird stuff. Our bishop is doing some weird stuff. Our, okay, our wife likes us. Make sure our spy master likes us more. We've been swaying our wife, but she already loves us. We could romance her, her, her romance her though. And we could actually become soulmates. Could be neat potentially. We don't want these guys to write we don't want these guys to, to get that siege. We'll keep a close, close eye on this. Actually, do we still have the mercs? Yeah, we still have the mercs. I think while we have the mercs, we, we need to engage here. So we'll redeploy our troops, catch them in the hills here, smash them, and then um, just a cat, man. What are you getting upset about? He's just a cat. Oh, those guys actually snuck away? Really? Come on.
claim throne. 90% chance you gain press claim on the uh, Duchy of Provence. Nothing can stop me now. Nothing can stop me now. Let's go. One of our knights die in that battle, maybe? Okay, let's disband. Let's, well, let's get these guys home and then we can disband them. Mercenary group is about to expire soon. That's how it goes. They've been dismissed. We can ransom that person for some money. It's not much, but it's something. Uh, we need to go back to building up control here. I thought we were... I guess the fact that they were sieging that prevented us from being able to do that. We can negotiate an alliance. Nope, we don't want an alliance with her. We're about to attack her for the throne. Disband these guys. Okay, so if we click on her now, if we click on her, and we go to declare war, we go for our claims. Holy cow, it says she has 2,700 something or others. How the heck is it doing the math on this? How did she get all these alliances? 300, that's in insignificant. So it must all be the other one. She's allied to them? We might have to go looking for an alliance. Ooh. Wait a second. Wait a second. The Prince of Burgundy. <laughs> the Prince of Burgundy is a four-year-old boy right now. And we have some daughters over here that might actually be able to make an alliance with Burgundy. If we make an alliance with Burgundy, we can call them in. That'd be a done deal. That'd be a wrap. Uh, thanks, everybody, guys, for watching this episode. If you guys have questions in the next one, we are going to try to seize the uh, title of the Duke of Provence and become the Duke of Provence. And then hopefully maybe even get our independence from Italy and then sort of go forth from there. So thank you, everybody, for hanging out. If you guys have questions, please ask down below in the comments, and we will absolutely get to them. Um, and in the next episode, we'll continue on the story of this uh, third generation Count of Provence. Thanks, everybody. See you guys in the next one.